Attention, please. Okay, oh. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Tips with Tish. Today, we're gonna talk all about footwork and leg work and what to expect, what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing, and all that good stuff. So, let's get to it. So I thought this was a really good tip to talk about because one, I also don't think that this is talked about enough. Also, I put a poll up on my Instagram and that's where someone suggested it. So that's why we're now talking about it on the spot. And so I wanted to talk through what I think is the best form of leg work and footwork, what to focus on, what not to focus on and all that good stuff. So let's get set up. So I have a, a nine iron in hand and that's what I'm going to go off of. So. Nine iron in hand for my nine iron. I like to kind of set up more towards the middle of my stance or slightly in front, but more so middle. So we're gonna go off that. So leg work and footwork in your swing. I think it's really important to break down your swing and try and swing and see how to focus on leg work and footwork without the club in hand or without, I mean, using your arms. So you can put your club across your chest. You can do it like this or like this or no club. And from here, get a feel for what the swing is like without the use of your arms and hands and golf clubs. So this is what the motion should look like. Now, this is what I focus on in my footwork and leg work. So firstly, this pertains to your footwork is making sure that your spine angle that will draw a line right here from my spine all the way through my back. You want to make sure that you're swinging on a swivel of your spine angle. The moment that you lift your spine angle up or down, that changes everything in your footwork as well. So make sure that your intention is to maintain on that spine angle to help have that consistent leg work. So now that we know that, so we're swinging, making sure we're swinging around our spine, right? From here, as you can see, my knees are naturally bending. This is what you're gonna focus on on your backswing. So I'm right-handed, so this is my left knee. So as you take it back, your left knee is going to slightly bend. And I think it's a really important point to note that on your from your right leg, your right leg should never be flexed completely straight. That's called a leg lock. You don't wanna to get to a leg lock because from here it's actually really hard to make that transition. This can also cause injury and it's also going to be hard to get that foot going the way you want to on your downswing. You always wanna be in an, in an athletic position, which is always with a slight knee bend, always ready for the next move. So when I'm taking it back, my left knee is naturally bending and my right leg is straightening, but we're not gonna take it to a lock. You wanna take it to right before it goes to a lock. And you don't wanna flex that either. So it's just gonna be a natural movement. Your lower body is going to naturally react to the upper body turning. So my upper body is going, my midsection is going, my hips are going, my knees are going. So that is my backswing slight bend and slight bend here. So now from the front, the next point you want to focus on in your leg work and your swing is making sure that the weight distribution stays on the inner parts of your foot. So when I take it back, I'm feeling pressure on my inside of my left foot and I'm feeling pressure on the inside of my right foot. You never want to take your weights outside. I mean, you may see long drivers do it, you may see big hitters do it, but if you want to be consistent, I highly recommend me keeping your weight inside of the feet. It's like that same comparison of swinging inside a barrel and also connecting to that point again of swinging along that spine angle, making sure that you're staying on the insides of your feet, just like so. And that also creates that natural knee bend and straightening that you see. So we're now at the top of your swing. This is what my lower body looks like. It is okay if you're not fully centered. When the, bit, the longer the club you have, especially when you start moving it in your stance, like if I had a driver right here, it would be more in front of me. Clearly when I take it back, my center will be going a little away from the ball because I want to hit it on the way up for a driver. Okay, big bug, you guys, big bug. So with an iron, I, I am totally for a little bit of lateral movement as long as you feel as though your weight is still on the insides. If your lateral movement takes you outside or to the outsides of your foot, even if you don't see it from the camera, but I feel it on the right, the right side of my right foot, that's too far back. It's going to be too hard to bring it back and too hard to replicate every single time. So we're okay with a little bit of lateral movement, but we're still staying centered. And from here on the downswing, it's really important that you have 
that your intentions is to have a lateral movement going down. Lateral movement meaning that you're going from right to left. You're moving laterally. Well, I'm right-handed, so I'm going laterally. We got a plane on top of us, so just one second. All right, plane is gone. So going back from the top of your swing, we're on the insides of our feet. This left leg is nice and bent. This one is slightly straight, or it's straightened, but not full lock. Now we're going on the downswing. Now the downswing pivot is not exactly the same as the backswing. So from here, you've now loaded all your energy. You're feeling the pressure on the insides of your foot. Now we're gonna move laterally, just as I was saying before. Now when you move laterally, there's going to be a moment when your knees are going to be slightly further apart than where you are right now. So there'll be that lateral movement's gonna help it become further apart. And now from here, you wanna make sure that this right foot is going to have a more of a slide and turn. It's gonna roll off like that, as opposed to turn out, which is the most common version of the pivot that I see. I always, I often see the right foot action of right-handed players go from here to just turning out. That means that they're going from here and they're literally just turning. They're not swinging towards the target, moving laterally towards the ball with that roll off that foot. When you add that roll off your foot, it changes the whole dynamic of your downswing and it helps you, or at least for me, it helps me feel like I am truly compressing the ball. And when you see a lot of players, their foot may be up, but it's still rolling as opposed to up like this. You'll see it more like that or a little like that. So going from the pivot. So from here, we've now spread our knees. We're going on our downswing transitioning. In the transition, the knees spread a little further apart. We're now taking that club down. That right foot is now rolling. And from here, we're now going to a full finish. And your finish from here, you wanna make sure that your spine angle, it's still leaning the same way that you started. You don't wanna actually finish and be standing directly up. So we're still here, foot is full up to the toes. My knees almost feel like they're kind of kissing. I feel like my hips have fully thrusted and now we have finished that lower body and footwork movement. So I'm gonna do a few, few swings without the club and with the club. So it'll look like this. Okay, so we'll go in slow motion. We're taking it back, weights inside, we're transitioning. Now we're going to roll that foot off and to a full turn. One more time, a little faster. Just like that. Now I'm going to attempt to hit a shot and have that same pivoting motion. I think it's really hard to connect the two and it's something that I think every pro is always working on, that pivot, that footwork. So here we go. I'm just gonna hit it out into the distance here. try again whenever I'm swinging uh, I think it's really important like I, I feel like I've already owned in on making sure my weights feel like they're on the insides of my feet but I really like to focus on that roll versus that turn because that's where I like to get quick I like to get quick in my transition and I like to turn my hips too fast which causes that turn as well and I, if I want everything to sync up I gotta let my arms come down and then all together roll into it so let's try again looks like this I feel like that was a better one so just like that all right you guys that wraps up my interpretation of the best form of footwork and leg work it truly is not a beginner concept it's something that is a lot hard to to apply when you're actually swinging the ball but hopefully me breaking it down you're able to get a better visualization so that you can piece the two together between your up between your upper body and lower body so quick run through we're going to make sure that our weights are on the insides of our feet throughout our swing and we're going to make sure that we're not leg locking just like that and there is no reverse pivoting as well that way when you reverse pivot your weight is now falling on that outside of your left foot we're staying centered Lateral movement is okay as long as we're still feeling that, that internal rotation of weight on the insides of your feet. From here, no leg locking, allowing that foot to roll off. And there's a moment where your knees are going to separate a little further just for a hot second. 
And from here, we're moving laterally. Foot is rolling off into a nice finish. So all together, I'll do it with a slow motion swing so that you can see when it's gonna happen and where it's going to happen. So here we go. So including my pivot, full swing. We're taking it back. My knee is fully bending. We're not going into a leg lock. Weight are inside of my feet. Now we're gonna transition. My knees are slowly separating. I'm going laterally, going for that foot roll, turning and finish. Now, not every swing actually looks like that when I'm actually hitting the ball, but that is always my intention. So I hope that this has helped some of you guys seeing a visualization and an explanation. If you like what you see, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you don't miss a beat. Bye for now. That's some hard golf concept, you guys.